all right good afternoon today is our second class and uh, just to recall back what we have learned in our first class was uh, we learn basic probability some basic term we learn a join probability marginal probability conditional probability the last one i think is union of probability okay join probability means with intersection union means with uh, this sign condition is something like this which is the formula is a b for example like this marginal is let's say if you want to find the uh, probability of a then uh, you need to plus uh, whichever whichever is related to whichever is joined with a for example if b1 is there then plus with b2 if you have a b3 then plus that 2 to get the probability of a so this is what we learned in uh, the previous class and I just uploaded, I, I almost forgot to upload the exercise 2, uh, the answer for exercise 2 and the answer for exercise 3. So I just uploaded, you, you can see that, don't worry, take your time, still have time. You, you can see that. And uh, starting from tomorrow, we are going to have our tutorial. And uh, you, if you have any other questions, you can ask in the tutorials. So, uh, <coughs> today uh, we are going to continue our lesson with the probability tree diagram. For that, please have a look at this example. The definition, of course, you can read by yourself. So I'm going to put here example one. You are off to soccer and love being the goalkeeper. Well, that depends on the coach today. Uh, with coach Sam, the probability of uh, being goalkeeper is 0 0.5. With coach Alex, the probability of being a goalkeeper is 0 0.3. Sam is coach more often about 6 out of every 10 games. Okay. So what is the probability you will beca become a goalkeeper today? So whether you become a goalkeeper or not, it all depends on the coaches. There are two coach. Yeah, first, you have to choose the coach. Then only you know whether you become a goalkeeper or not. It is Sam. And Alex. The probability of Sam become a goalkeeper is... Zero point six. This one is probability of and
if sam become a goalkeeper sorry sam become the coach you become a goalkeeper is 0.5 which means here this is actually the conditional probability yeah? conditional probability whereby sam given sam is a coach you become a goalkeeper is 0.5 and uh, if i put a g bar here that means you are not a goalkeeper if here 0.5 then here also 0.5 because uh, you have to remember the probability comes out from the same branch if you plus it's one eh? see this is same branch the branch comes out from the same point this one plus this one must be one okay that's how you see the probabilities so this one is you are not a given it is sam you are not a goalkeeper is 0.5 same goes here given alex is the coach you become a goalkeeper is 0.3 and uh, given alex is a coach you are not a goalkeeper is 0.7 what is the probability you will be a goalkeeper now if you if you go by branch so when you times s g eh, you go by branch when you times this is actually the probability of joint probability of s g eh? so 0 0.6 times 0 0.5 same goes by this branch This is the probability of S and not goalkeeper. S not goalkeeper 0 0.6 0 0.5. This is the probability of Alex and goalkeeper and this is the probability of Alex and not goalkeeper what we want actually okay what we want let, let us compute this first let us compute this this would be 2.3 this would be make make sure that if for each branch once you compute if you if you plus this you should get one eh? that is the idea now what the question one is so what is the probability you will become a goalkeeper today the probability of you become a goalkeeper As I told you in the previous one, 
if you want a then what you have to do take all the joint probability with with a this one and this one so let us see what are the joint probability with a g that would be this one and this one so you take this value and this value let me write it here doesn't matter g is in front or behind eh? as long as you take the all the joint probability with g that would be your answer sorry 0 0.12 eh? 0 0.42 so this is the answer you will get by using tree diagram I just want you to uh, uh, take note that the, the first one the first one is always a single probability PS and PA depends on the letter here okay the second thing is a conditional probability okay you see can see here s you write the s behind given if a mm -hmm. you write the a behind okay so the first branch is normal probability the second branch will be the conditional probability and the product of the first branch and the second branch is the joint probability okay this one for each of them so this this what i want to want you to highlight okay, you have to know which probability at at which uh, position in the tree diagram i give you some time to recall back uh, copy this All right, let us go to example two now. A graduate statistic course has seven male, three female student. The professor want to select two student at random to help her conduct a research project. What is the probability that two students are female? So all together ten student. Total ten student. The probability of male 
is 7 over 10 so probability of female is 3 over 10 okay you have to understand for the first basic probability first so this would be the first student first student can be female or male the second student can also be female and male but there's a difference okay there's a difference here the when the professor choose either female or male the probability for female is 3 over 10 for male is 7 over 10 okay but the second one since uh, she uh, she uh, she she have chosen one of them okay so that person must come out from the group of 10 so left is now total is 9 because one student is standing with the professor now he has been chosen so now for the second student the professor need to choose out of 9 okay now since if we go by this branch if we go by this branch eh, since the first student was the first student was the first student chosen was female initially it was 3 now it reduced by 2 because one female is chosen already male remain same so 3 uh, 10 7 over 9 for this branch here the first student chosen was male so the female remain same 3 and the male get reduced by 1 which is 6 that's how you see the probability what is the probability that the two students chosen are female so all you have to do is just focus on the the last thing last last letter as f What is the probability that the two students chosen are female? So this one cannot. Two must be female. One female, two female. Both of them must be female. So this is the answer for that. The answer for the second example is 1 over 50. That means you can write here both probability, both female is 1 over Example 3, I gave you some time in case if you want to copy. In example 3, the professor who teaches the course is suffering from a flu and will unable to 
enabled for two classes. The professor replacement will teach the next two classes. His style is to select one student at random and pick on him or her to answer question during that class. Now, in this in this example, now the same same question eh, is just a little bit eh, change changes little changes are there. Exercise, oh, sorry, example. Example three. Now the replacement, professor replacement will teach two classes. Now his style is to select one student at random and pick on him, on her to answer this thing. Okay, in this case, uh, he choose one student, ask him to answer the question and then the student will sit in the group which means the student won't come out from the group okay normally there is there will be a word replacement or uh, not replacement okay now since his style is choose choose one student at random pick on him or her to answer the question and then for the first question eh, the second question also he will do the th same thing so one student maybe can answer both questions there are chances so all the students stay there nobody is come out from that group in that case female male three over ten The probability doesn't change because nobody is coming out from the group. Everybody is sitting there. First student, second student. What is the probability that two students are chosen female? now? female female go by this branch this is the answer so This is the answer, 9 over 100. Exercise 1.
two dice are thrown together use a tree diagram to find the probability that one number is even and the other one is odd so if you throw a die what is the outcome you will have one two three four five six okay these are the sample space we call this as sample space for the dice the probability for even number how many even number are there 2 4 6 so the probability for even number is 3 number out of 6 1 over 2 the probability of odd numbers is now we have to draw a tree diagram two dice are thrown together the first die can be even or the second die also can be even or even or the probability of even is 1 over 2 to find the probability one number is even the other one is odd so they never say for first number or second number if they specify first number second number then we have to exactly follow the order they said one of the number is even one of the number is odd so let us see if this is even then this is odd so we have to follow this branch this is odd this is even we have to choose the even we have to follow this branch now both of them are the answer when you go by branch you multiply when you jump when you jump from one branch to one branch u plus so this will become so u plus huh? this one eh? and uh, this will become so the probability of even and odd you even you want to do want to do here you want to do here also can eh, the computation eh? i just do both ways so this would be the answer
so exercise 2 this is exercise 1 eh? I am going for 2 now Jack wake up late on average 3 days in every 5 If Jax wake up late, the probability he is late for school is alright. So you can read these things. Eh? So question is one: What percent of days does Jack get to school on time? So again, um, wake up on time. Wake up late. What is the probability of wake up? on time or wake up late first they because they give you wake up late three days in every five three over five which is 0 0.6 so right here 0 0.6 and this one should be 0 0.4 wake up and what is another variable going for school or not going for school I mean late going for school late for school so this is going for school on time this is late for school going for school on time late for school If Jake Jax wakes up late, the probability is late for school is nine over ten, or I can write here zero point nine. Eh? So wakes up late, late for school. Then here would be zero point nine. Then here would be zero point one. Wakes up late, going for school on time. if jack does not wake up late which means this one on time the probability he is late for school is 0 0.3 and this one should be 0 0.7 so i need to let me recall back uh, this this one is what probability of w this one is what probability of late w bar this one is what probability of given w s this one is given w s bar i don't have enough space i write here this one is given w bar s this one is given w bar w bar happen first and s bar And uh, if I want to find, uh, if if I times this, what is the thing? It is actually a joint probability. You have to understand this. Okay, if I times this, So if you times this, what happens? Mm -hmm. Zero point four times zero point. This one zero point four times zero point three zero point 
right what day one actually on what person of days does jack get to school on time going school for on time which means i need s s this one and this one if you jump what do you do you plus so probability of s is actually 0 0.28 plus 0 0.06 you will get 0 0.34 this is probability they want percentage probability change to percentage is 34 times 34 percentage yeah? you have to multiply by 100 that one I, I don't think so I need to teach you you have learned that before in your school 34 percentage is your answer Exercise 3 Just go through the question. You guys read for yourself.
question is what is the probability that he chooses shoes and socks of the same color The probability that he want to choose black is 205, brown is 305, red is 3 over 13, brown is 4 over 13, black is 6 over 13. Now we want to see uh, the probability that he chooses shoes and socks of the same color, which means uh, if shoe is black, my socks also must be black. If my shoe is brown, my socks also must be brown. So y you can compute only only these two, you know. This would be the answer. For number four, I give you some time, you guys try first. Number four, try yourself first.
Yeah, uh, you can shower, isn't it? You can open your mic and ask me the question. If anything. Somebody raise your hand. Are you going to ask some question or just simply raise your hand? I, I'm not sure about it. Maybe you are telling me you have done. Okay. So if you have done the work, the answer for this is 19, uh, not 33, eh? 1966. This would be the answer you get. exercise You can read yourself, exercise 5, read first. Doctor, sorry for interrupt. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask, why get 11, not 10? Because the question say pick two balls. Right. Or oh, I'm wrong. Question say pick two balls, okay. Use uh, a diagram. Uh, two balls are drawn without a replacement. So this is the first ball. This is the first ball. Uh -huh. This is the second ball. Oh. Okay, okay. Thank you, Rita. All right.
find the probability that a randomly selected law school graduate become a lawyer. Hmm. So the candidate, uh, there, there are chances for the candidate to take the test two time. Eh? I suppose you guys have read the exercise five. Eh? I don't want to read for you. Otherwise, uh, uh, it won't be that efficient if I read for you. You read for yourself and try to understand. Let's say the candidate take the test for the first time. Eh? Suppose they are in a particular jurisdiction, the pass rate for the first time is 0 0.5. If they are fail, they can take retake the exam. Of those who fail the first test, zero point eight eight will pass, and this one would be zero point one two. Find the probability that a randomly selected law school graduate become a lawyer. Become a lawyer means you have to pass the test. The chances for you to pass the test is at the first test itself, which is 0 0.72. I mean, you, you might be one of them, okay, in the 72 percentage passing rate. Or if you fail, then the chances for you to pass in the second test would be this. That is 0 0.28 You become a lawyer is 0 0.72 plus 0 0.2464 So the answer is this. All right, if you want to copy, I would like to stop here and the Bayes theorem. Okay, this this is quite heavy not heavy is there's a tedious computation for this one so today what we did is we did uh, probability with the tree diagram and uh, for the Bayes theorem I will continue in our tutorial okay sometimes I mix my class with the tutorial okay so <coughs> Starting from tomorrow onwards, we will have tutorial I think tomorrow is the first section 11 to Shawal Iskanda is raising his hand I don't know why, Shawal, anything, any problem? Yes, sir. Yeah, why why are you raising your hand? Anything? My line is low. Your answer? Sorry, I you have done this one. Which one you answer? Anyway. Um tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday there will be a tutorial, two hours. Monday is eleven to 
one i don't know which section maybe for section one section two so during the tutorial i will uh, go through this bayes theorem and after going through the bayes theorem then uh, i will go through the tutorial question with you all all right so i want to ask is it okay to have only two decimal places can 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 uh, sir yes i have a question yes um tuesday our tutorial class is happy for the day right Um, oh, we okay. have crossed or not? So thank you, thank you for reminding me all these things because sometimes I forgot. Public holiday, no class. Okay, even I want to have the class, it is uh, like breaking the rule. So Tuesday don't have class, eh? I, I, I. So if you have public holiday, ah, uh, it's okay, Shawal. I understand that. No problem. Oh, the one asked question is: Many people are keep open. Many people are raising the hand. Okay, never mind. Uh, Tuesday, in this case, uh, I will upload in the thing. Uh, uh, Tuesday, if a public holiday, there's no class. See, public holiday, no class, no tutorial. That's all. Okay, public holiday. I cannot do anything. If it's a public holiday, then uh, it, it is a public holiday. We cannot do anything in that case. Eh? Even I cannot have any classes. It's uh, it's uh, breaking the rule, something like that. Okay, I don't disturb you in public holiday. But Monday we have tutorial. Monday we do have tutorial. Okay, so even though even though I I have two tutorials, but then the recording. I will only upload one, whichever is best. So for those Tuesday tutorial guys, if you cannot attend the classes, uh, you you want to you want, if you are free you can attend on uh, Monday. But if you do, if you are not free, don't worry because I'm going to upload the recording and also the answers for all these things. You go through that. If you still cannot un uh, understand or cannot think, then you can ask me in the next tutorial. Okay, so that's how it goes. All right. Any other questions? Okay, I, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. I have a question about the conditional probability. Yeah. Our last week class. Okay. Uh, you have any tips how to know the statement for the conditional is, uh, the statement is uh we need to put it at the first or at the second because okay. I. Okay. I understand um, that. Your name is Shakira, isn't it? Can I yes. can I explain your answer in our tutorial? Is it possible? Uh, all right. Your tutorial. You are can, coming can. next Monday or what? Uh, Monday. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll remind me again this question. I will explain to you clearly everything. All right. Thank all right. you, Doctor. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? All right. If there's no questions, then. Uh, That's all for today's class. I'll see you. Those who are coming on Monday, I'll see you on Monday. Uh, those who are not coming on Tuesday, enjoy your holiday, and uh, I'll see you on next week. On Tuesday. All right. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. 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 Thank you, doctor.